All right, back at it with another mining video. We're gonna be going over Ironfish for the RTX 4080. We're gonna be using LOL Miner for the miner. And we're going to be using Hero Miners for the pool. We are mining to an exchange, which I do not recommend, just doing it for the video, but using Trade Ogre as per usual. Uh, you can also use Coinax if you haven't been banned. Uh, granted, I think us is the only country that's been banned uh another good one is uh kucoin and uh bitmart anywho just going to show the memory type as per usual <clears throat> which should be uh micron for majority of the 40 series except for the 4060 4060 ti maybe question mark and the 40 super series anywho as for the power draw, it usually fluctuates between 21 to 22 watts for the GPU for right now. Um, now for the whole entire system, it's 160 watts, so not including the GPU. It's about an additional 140 watts, just taking that into account when reading off of uh, from, from the wall. Uh, <clears throat> uh, starting her on up. We should be getting a hash rate of 34,838.18 to 34,842.86 mega hash with a power draw of anywhere between 318 watts to 319 watts reported on the software. And then as for at the wall, I am currently getting looks like 423 to 432 watts fluctuating at the wall now for the efficiency should be roughly anywhere between 108.296 to 110.318 now we're going to go ahead and head on over to the thermals which right now it is 65 in my home and 33 Fahrenheit outside. Obviously, the hash rate is going to be a little bit lower since I'm recording using the GPU. But we are getting a temperature of, it looked to be about 58 to, looks like 62C. It's probably still warming up. Memory junction temperature of 40 C and a hot spot of 78 to 80 C. So just like uh, a lithium, a little bit hot, not too hot. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and close this on out. And we're going to head back into the batch file. We're going to go ahead and edit that. And we're going to do a memory lock of 820 which should set it to 5001 uh, i tried 810 but couldn't get uh the hash rate i wanted you can if you want to but was too much uh hash rate loss for me personally we're gonna go ahead and save that come on over here and we're gonna look for a where is she at? Uh, I believe it is right here. We're gonna do a core clock lock of 935 millivolts at 2460 megahertz. And then we're gonna do a core offset of plus 300. Go ahead and hit okay on that. And then we're gonna go ahead and run as administrator. So that that 820 applies. And then with this uh, overclock, we should be getting a hash rate of 35,331.07 to 35,357.54 with a power draw of 245 watts to 246 watts from the software and then as for at the wall currently getting 351 watts to looks like 353 
actually no correction, 350 to 353 watts at the wall. But this should give us an efficiency of 143.912 to 143.934. One last look at the thermals. And uh, there will be a link down in the description of this same overclock with the actual hash rate, efficiency, and uh, power draw for testimonial. And uh, it running stable for over an hour, but uh, we've got a GPU temperature of 53 to 54 C, memory ejection temperature of 38 C, and a hot spot of 67 to about 68 C. So, a little bit cooler. So, that is pretty much the end of the video, and thanks for watching. Bye.